Hi and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, it's great to have you here in our little YouTube family. Today I'm going to do something slightly different and I'm going to do my first ever monthly favourite. So it's June this month, well it's the end of June today. So this is my June favourites. These are 10 items that I have been absolutely loving throughout June. We've had quite a hot to June, so some of them reflect some of those kind of things that I've needed more, so I've been loving them because I've been using them all the time. And some of them are just standard things that I love and this month I've been enjoying just as much as any other month. So I'm gonna start with some like hair beauty kind of bits and pieces, then I'll go over to like household stuff. So I've been using this so this is the L'Oreal LV. Now this one is the clay one and it's got, it's three refined clays. Now it is, where does it say? It is silicon free, which is why I picked it up. I'm sure it's more than just silicon free if I can find it. It says 70, oh, I can't get the words out. 72 hours pure lightweight roots. Fluid, free moving lengths and exquisite radiance. It's for oily roots and dry ends, which is what I tend to have, although my roots aren't that oily. Um, it's more that I've really dry ends. So I tried this one with the conditioner, but I have none of that left. This is also empty. So I went to replace them and I saw this set. So yeah, I picked this one up and this is silicone free again. It's got coconut oil in it, it's for normal to dry hair, it's got, it says it does, no way down, irresistibly soft and luxuriously, luxuriously smooth. This on the conditioning also says instant detangling. So I thought I'd give these a go and yeah, definitely silicone free. It's smooth hair, infused hair with coconut fragrance. But I am really loving this one. I'm not sure which one I prefer out of the both because obviously I've only used this one a couple of times. So maybe I'll come back to you and let you know. But I definitely, definitely like this one. I found I felt an instant difference with using this one within like the first few washes. So that was hair stuff. Got some other thing that's hair stuff, and well, it's not just hair, and that is coconut oil. This is just a small pot. Um, I actually had run out so I went and grabbed this for Alfie's nose um, because it, coconut oil actually has antibacterial tendencies and stuff and because we couldn't put plasters on to keep his nose clear we tried this and this helped amazingly but this says it's for hair and skin. Now I use coconut oil in my hair as a hair mask so I will either sit it in the bath and let it go like liquidy and then put it on while I'm in the bath and then shampoo and condition it out at the end or I will leave it in and sleep in it and I find that really helps but I've also been using it for my skin after a day outside in the sun um, and I've just found that it's keeping my skin in a lovely soft nourishing condition better than any of my moisturisers have been doing so yeah absolutely love this this is an all year round year favourite for me for my hair, but for my body I've been using it more than ever. And I've even been putting it on my face. Um, I'm just finding that my skin is really dry because of the heat and the humidity. Um, my face has literally been drinking it in at night time, so that's helped loads. So, another thing I have been loving in this heat is a new deodorant I've been trying. Now this is the Michelin Triple Odour Defence, it's 48 hour protection. Now I saw this on an advert and they said oh you can go to a festival and not need to wash and not smell and stuff for like two days. I was like, there's no way I could do that. And um, even with normal deodorant by the end of the day, do you know what I mean? I need a shower. Um, I've always been that way. But I have noticed a big difference in this. Yes, I need a shower at the end of the day if I've had a busy day, but it's keeping 
the odour and stuff at bay. I've been absolutely loving this. The only thing i found is that I've had to scrub under my arms a bit more because I can feel like there's the coat in there, but I don't feel like it's there during the day, just when I'm trying to wash it off in the evening. But I, this is near enough gone and I will be replacing this. Something else that I have loved for a long time, but have been using lots and lots of it ooh, in this heat. And this is, I don't know if anybody will have heard of this. Now this is a limited edition one of Lush's, but they do sell this in the shops. This is their dusting powders. Now, this says, they can, Lush can put some right tongue in cheek things on their bottles, but it says, it's basically like talcum powder, but it's fragranced. It's finer than talcum powder. It's got some really good stuff in it, but I love it for chub rub, <laughs> basically. Um, I find that if I sprinkle this in between, my, rub it on between my thighs, that when I've got dresses on and stuff like that, I am not rubbing and getting sore between my legs. Again, under the boob, for the same reason in this hot weather, I've been finding this absolutely, I can't live without it, and I panic when I can't find it in the morning. And so yes, this is a must have if you suffer with chub rub or you've got big boobs and you suffer with there where it can get red where the underwire is rubbed underneath and stuff like that. Go in to your local lush and ask about their dusting powders. They are amazing. And they may seem that it's you'll feel that it's expensive for a little, I think this is 100 ml? No, 40 grams. Um, <clears throat> but I do know if liquid's in this size bottle it's 100 ml. That's I think they're about five pounds. Now people can think that's really expensive, but I think it's really, really worth it. I use these all year round. So yeah, these are good. They're definitely worth giving a try. Now then, last, oh no, they've got more health and more skincare and stuff. This has got filthy in my makeup box because my makeup box needs a good clean. But obviously with the sun, I have, Caught, the caught a tan. I've caught the sun and got a tan. All my foundations were, I have this one, this is the Revolution, I think it's called a Fast Base, the Revolution Stick Foundations, no? Yeah, Fast Base Stick Foundation. Now, I have this in a lighter colour, I should have brought the lighter colour down to show the two, but what it is, I went for, it's actually melted. Oh no, I think my foundation's gonna have to go in the fridge but quite a dark colour. It is darker than what I am now, but I find that I can mix it with the lighter one and get the colour I need. And for five pounds, I think these are brilliant. So the last bit about like hair, beauty, body kind of stuff is these two. Now, this one's not necessarily, for me, this is more for the kids and my partner, but I have been loving it having to apply it to Alfie because a normal sun creams take ages to rub in, he doesn't want to stand still, every mother will know the struggle of trying to apply sun cream. Now this is a transparent sun spray, I did post this on our Instagram page when I got them, hoping that I would really like these. It's a quick drying, non-greasy, easily absorbed, but it's amazing, you literally spray it, rub it, and it's in their skin. There's no residue on the top, and I think at the moment, I don't know if it's still on, but they were buy one, get one half price. So yes, they were buy one, get one half price. And I think there was only about £5, £56 anyway. Well worth it. Now pick this up. They do, oh, just one second. They do have, they, I'm sure these are five star, yeah, five star UVA ratings. Now I'll pick this up from... It's right on the front of the bottle from Primark. It's a hair and scalp sun spray. Again, Alfie really doesn't like to wear hats, even when he's meant to. So this one is one that you just spray into the hair, and I find that I can spray it on his crown and like on like these side bits where he's got a bit of thinner hair. Well, I do spray it all over as well, but concentrate on those areas. It's only a factor 30, but he has, it's a five star um, UVA rating and it's water resistant 
and I found that he's had, because he's quite fair, that he has had no problems with his scalp or anything catching the sun, which we've had in the past. When you have mist spraying, rubbing cream into it, this again is brilliant and it was three quid. Uh, I am a wax melt addict as it is, else, and so we have some wax melts. Now, you can find wax melts, they like bigger branded, do their own wax melts. I'm trying to think of what they're called now. Unstoppables, and they're like five pound a packet, even more I think in Asda. And these ones are B&M's own brand. So you've got Cherry Berry. They have, I think this is home baking. So it's like a cinnamony, vanilla-y kind of scent. It's really nice. And then we just have French vanilla. They do do a fresh linen one as well. And these are only a pound each. And you get eight cubes in a packet. And I find that I only need one cube in my wax burners or my ones electric wax burner and it can, you can smell it all downstairs so these are a must buy if you like that kind of thing and of course I'm a little Sephora addict so these had to feature in but these are probably what I would class as my monthly favourites so this one is Hello Spring and Pink Grapefruit I think these are great fresh fragrances for around the home there will be another video coming up. If you are new to Sephora, check it out. It's going to be my five top things that I like to use Sephora for. So yes, keep an eye out for that. But if you've never tried Sephora before, I really suggest you do. It is amazing and there is so many uses for it this month. And my last but in very no means least, it's been right here poking out in the background. So yes, my last but no means least is my new Hoover, my new Shark Hoover. I have done a like first impressions review on this Hoover, um, so I'll link that down below. But this has become a lifesaver for me. I feel like. I'm not having to dust as much and with three cats and two young children, well two children, I felt like I was ever hoovering and dusting and because it picks so much stuff up, I am just not having to hoover or dust half as much as what I was before. So for that reason alone it's got to go in my favourites. But if you want, really want to find out why I love it so much, check out the video down below and I shall link it down there for you. I think I will do one of these every month and bring you some of my favourites. Maybe it won't be as many next time, but yes, I will bring you what I'm loving by the end of what I'm loving in July at the end of July. So see you soon.